post fight video on Joy Joyce versus Ian Lewison. Joy Joyce utterly destroyed Ian Lewison. I've always felt Ian Lewison was overrated. Uh, guys like Hatman Strikes Back has always been high on him, but the only reason Hatman has been high on him is because they're both from Brixton. So because of this, he's high on him. I don't blame Hatman. It's like me, I'm high on people from Brooklyn because I'm from over here. Uh, so, you know, I'm not chastising Hatman for that, but I'm just saying he was always overrated. Ian Lewison just got the crap beat out of him against a guy that didn't even turn pro. I mean, that's just having his first fight. This was easy money for Ian Lewison. I mean, for Joy Joyce. Joy Joyce was kind of th throwing a pity jab, but he kept moving. Like, he never stood in front of Ian Lewison. Ian Lewison looked like, like, a, looked like an amateur. He was just throwing. He was just trying to knock out. He was going for the knockout punch, but he's so overweight. He has man tits. Like, they should have blurred uh, Ian Lewison's uh, tits because... All you saw was his man tits, man. But, uh, yeah. He was throwing these hooks. But he was so short. And he was not fast enough to catch uh, Joy Joyce. Because every time he threw those hooks, Joy Joyce would just simply move, pivot to the side, and counter him. I felt that Joy Joyce's only issue was... This was the first time I saw Joy Joyce fight live, by the way. And, this is, and I felt that Joy Joyce's only issue was he wasn't being aggressive enough. I felt he could have stopped... He, I think he, I felt like he could have stopped Ian Lewison much quicker. Like, I felt like, because, for example, at the end of round three, he was beating the, the shit out of Ian Lewison. Like, he was really beating him down, but the thing was, he just wasn't letting his hands go enough. In my opinion, had he simply let his hands go in round three to round five, he would have stopped the fight. He would have stopped them in round three or round five. It would have been over. Um, that's how I feel. I feel like he would have stopped Ian Lewison... But he kind of, he kind of let Ian Lewis off the hook because, in my opinion, I'm telling you right now, had Joy Joyce, had Joy Joyce simply let his hands go in round three to five, he would have stopped Ian Lewis. And, but he kind of let him off the hook, and the fight went on to round eight. Ian Lewis seemed to have a lot of problems in this fight. First, at like round three, he was complete. It looked like he was trying to complain about something wrong was wrong with his face. Then in like round five, he was going around like limping. It, it was almost like he was limping. I felt that, I said in my live commentary, I felt that Charles, I mean, that his, yes, trainer, I think his trainer's name is Charles, Charles Don, Don Charles. I think he, I felt that he should have stopped the fight in round five because he looked like there was something wrong with him, like in his legs, he was like bouncing. But his trainer didn't stop the fight. And he let it continue, and he just got beat up. And his trainer finally just threw in the towel because Ian Lewison was just getting beat up. Ian Lewison should retire. Uh, he, that you just lost to a guy who just turned pro. You lost to a guy who just turned pro. So you know your career is over. This is why I was so. I made a video on my original McGregor channel saying Ian Lewison will get destroyed in three rounds against Daniel DeBoss. After watching this fight, I think Daniel DeBoz is a bigger puncher than someone like George Joyce. And I'm telling you right now, I'm sticking to this. If Ian Lewis would have fought, if this would have been Daniel DeBoz versus Ian Lewis instead of Daniel DeBoz versus uh, George Joyce, Daniel DeBoz, the, the prospect who a lot of people say is the next Mike Tyson, he would have KO'd uh, Ian Lewis in like three rounds. It would have been over because he has a killer instinct. Joy Joyce was kind of like, he kind of left him off the hook. I kind of didn't like that. I wish he would have been more aggressive. But eventually, he basically just brought, broke Ian Lewis and down and wore him down. But someone like uh, Daniel DeBoss uh, would have just... I'm telling you, man. He would have destroyed him. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole fight. The, the, the whole thing, guys. I hope you guys... Uh, Enjoy the game play footage. I hope you guys enjoy my commentary and please like the video, please subscribe and this make a out. Bye. First of all, let me kill this. Let me kill this. Let me kill this beast if I could. Or he'll kill me. Alright, bye guys, this is up to say.